I think uh, it's fine now, no? I hope it's fine. Abhi ek baar mujhe clear kar doge? Yeah. Thanks for letting me know and for waiting. We will be starting very soon. In one or two minutes, we will be starting. And then you can also uh, uh, open your camera if you can. Okay, good to see you again. So hi everyone. आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है हमारे YouTube channel Mathematical पाठशाला में. बहुत समय के बाद मैं live आया हूँ. आप सभी को पता होगा कि मेरे संग कुछ न कुछ problems चल रहे थे अभी. But situation is now better. So आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत special student है. अभी तो ये guest बोल सकते हो आप. So he is currently pursuing PhD from NYSER. NYSER एक बहुत अच्छा research institute है. तो इस पूरे सेशन में हम लोग बात करेंगे कि हाउ डू वी गेट इनटू नाइसर नाइसर में एडमिशन कैसे लिया जाए क्या क्या फैसिलिटीज नाइसर में है क्या क्या अपॉर्चुनिटीज और होती हैं आपके पास पीएचडी करने के लिए क्योंकि नाइसर एक ऐसा ऑप्शन है जो बहुत सारे लोगों को नहीं पता इवन आई विल से कि जो नाइसर है वो आई से ऊपर है तो ये एक बहुत अच्छा रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट है जिसके बारे में आप सभी को पता होनी चाहिए कितनी स्टाइपेंड यहाँ पे मिलती है सो ऑल द थिंग्स वी विल बी शेयरिंग इन दिस सेशन एंड उसके अलावा आप लोग व्यूअर्स हो अगर आपके कुछ भी डाउट्स हैं क्वेरीज हैं पी एच डी से रिलेटेड किसी और चीज से रिलेटेड बट मैथ्स उसमें होना चाहिए तो यू कैन आस्क मी मी एंड अमन बोथ विल ट्राई टू गिव यू द आंसर सर आप देख नहीं रहे मैं देख नहीं रहा क्या मैं प्रकट हो गया हाँ मैं प्रकट हो गया सो अमन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट टेल मी लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर सोल दैट मींस फ्रॉम वेयर यू हैव कंप्लीटेड योर मास्टर्स एंड फ्रॉम वेयर आर यू सो जस्ट टेल मी लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर सोल गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन ऑल द व्यूअर्स ऑफ मैथमेटिकल पाठशाला फैमिली सो इंट्रोड्यूसिंग माई सेल्फ आई एम अमलान कुमार साहू आई एम बेसिकली फ्रॉम ओडिशा uh i am from malkangiri district and uh, i was pursuing my education uh, since 8 uh, years from bhubneshwar like uh, i have done my schooling from dipti convent school malkangiri uh, 11th and 12th from odm public school uh, then uh, my integrated msc from odisha university of technology and research in mathematics and computing that uh, is also in that, bhubneshwar I, yes sir that is also in bhubneshwar okay okay so currently uh, in the past 8 years i am currently staying at bhubneshwar and uh, now also i'm pursuing at bhubneshwar that is at nizer pg in mathematics okay uh, so good to know that uh, so nizer is not new for you you are yes nizer is nizer okay. nizer is not new for me yeah i i am familiar with that institute ठीक है वैसे ना हमन जब प्रिपरेशन कर रहे थे ना तो तब भी इनका ड्रीम रहता था कि सर मेरे को ना nizer में एडमिशन मिल जाए So I am really very happy for you that you uh, got into that. Okay. Yes, sir. So, I mean, tell me uh, uh, some specialization of NICER. Why uh, someone should approach NICER for PhD or integrated PhD? So actually, my personal opinion was is that I respect all the IITs. Like uh, IITs are the premium institutes, and in in technology, no one is above them. like iits are best in techn uh, technical technical things but when it comes to the basic sciences like uh, we study physics chemistry mathematics research institute have their own place in my opinion so research uh, be it be the indian institute of science bangalore which is head and shoulders above the rest uh, uh, or be it isers nizers and we have different institutes like the institute of mathematical sciences we have for different subjects different research laboratories like for me they have a different importance in life because for research they are something i feel are better than iits in iits you have all the exposure but in research uh, research institutes they mainly focus on the uh, on the research that is what i feel uh, along with all the isers iisc nizer is also a very good institute uh, talking something about nizer nizer is an autonomous institute uh, under the department of atomic energy india 
uh, that is uh, that is funded by the DAE, and uh, the institute here is uh, like it's it's not situated at Bhubaneswar. It is situated outside of the city, so that uh, the noise and everything could be minimized. Uh, the campus um, the campus here is good, and all with all the basic facilities and all the research facilities here. And uh, I feel like uh, I, uh, being uh, from Odisha, I was I was familiar with Nizer from a very a very earlier days. Like it was also my dream to pursue an integrated MSc course in Nizer, but uh, the fortune was not good at that time. Uh, I took a year drop for uh, this type of institutes, but I couldn't unfortunately cross that mark. Like I always had a guilt in me that uh, I couldn't go into a research institute. But uh, fortunately, everything uh, everything went fine, and I found you. A teacher like you, like I feel, I feel uh, for a student to succeed in life, they need a good mentor. Like it's my opinion that a student to succeed in his life, he needs a good mentor. Like uh, there is something like uh, there are many teachers in the YouTube, uh, but I feel fortunate of choosing mathematical part, Shala. Uh, like uh, it was uh, like I didn't know more about this institute when I chose it because there were many institutes. Like I won't take the name. There were many institutes in the YouTube. Like I was searching for someone who could clear my basic doubts. Like uh, people generally st get stuck at basics. Uh, like I was uh, search of an institute that could clear my basic doubt, and uh, like I found the institute. Then um, I followed. Like uh, you may be knowing that I am following you since 2018. Like yeah, since I 2018, I, yeah. Uh, since since 2018, I am following this channel. Like I found it uh, helpful, and uh, by the YouTube videos, I was able to crack uh, IIT Jam 2021. The rank was not that good. The rank was something above uh, 1000. Not that bad, I guess. Uh, yes, sir. That is uh, that was I was able to crack IIT gem uh, without uh, without the paid course. I just uh, saw videos from the YouTube. Then I decided that I must try uh, try this institute because uh, I had a bigger goal in my life. That is pursuing PhD at a research institute or uh, getting selected in the net because after net you have a lot of opportunities. Like you can go for research, you can go for assistant professor. Like it was my it was my goal. Uh, so in search of an institute uh, like. Uh, uh, I took uh, took a decision that I need to choose mathematical partshala, and uh, I gave the scholarship test even, and my rank was also good. I think uh, my rank was uh, second or third. I got uh, even I got the scholarship from mathematical partshala. It was the year 2022. Uh, yeah, scholarship year I, from math. Thoda sa aur highlight this. Let me point out here. Otherwise, I'll forget this one. Because yes, scholarship ko main thoda sa aur mark karna chahunga, point out karna chahunga. Humne abhi tak jitne bhi scholarship test liye hain. उसमें जितने भी हमारे पास पहले थर्ड रैंकर्स पहले तीन रैंकर्स हो या पहले पांच रैंकर्स हो वो हमेशा बहुत आउटस्टैंडिंग स्टूडेंट्स रहे हैं अमन उनमें से एक है उसके अलावा बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट हैं मेरे को उंगलियों पे उनके नाम याद है जितने भी वो स्टूडेंट हैं वो सारे ही लाइन से टॉप आई में गए हैं अगर कोई टॉप आई में नहीं जा चुका है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अमलन नहीं जा पाए तो ही इज करेंटली एट नाइस दैट्स ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट थिंग तो अगर आपको कभी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिले हमारा स्कॉलरशिप टेस्ट देने की तो आप जरूर देना बस प्रॉब्लम ये कि हम बहुत कम लाते हैं सो यू शुड नॉट मिस दैट सो थैंक्स फॉर सो मच अप्रिसिएशन अमन एक्चुअली ये हम ये हमसे बहुत टाइम से जुड़े हुए हैं एक्चुअली 2018 में ही मैंने चैनल स्टार्ट किया था तो तब से लेकर ये जुड़े हुए हैं तो ये हमारी शायद रग रग से वाकिफ है दे नोज ऑल गुड्स एंड बेट्स अबाउट अस but we will uh, come to that later about us so amlan ne jaise bataya ki inke kuch four exams qualified hai iit jam he has qualified he has qualified csi or net exam but uh, main aapko na ek cheez choti si batana chahunga jab uh, 2019 mein maine net diya tha na mere msc ke first time mein to mera jo jrf tha wo 0.75 marks se ruka tha तो मैं समझ सकता हूँ कि अगर आप इतना क्लोज आके रुकते हो ना तो दुख होता है तो अमलन के साथ ये चीज दो बार हो चुकी है सो ही हैज एक्चुअली बैड लक इन दिस आई से बट आई ऑल्सो बिलीव दैट आई ऑल्सो सेट टू हिम कि अगर आपका क्वालिफाई नहीं हुआ ना तो यू विल बी गेटिंग गुड रैंक इन अपकमिंग सिनेरियोज जैसे मेरा उस टाइम पे अगर हो जाता तो मुझे रैंक बहुत अच्छा नहीं मिलता आई थिंक वन फिफ्टी के आसपास आता बट अब जब मिला तो रैंक फोर्टी तो अमलन के साथ भी कुछ ऐसा ही होगा कि जब इनका क्वालिफाई जयर होगा तो ही विल बी गेटिंग वेरी गुड रैंक एंड आई ट्रस्ट सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर क्लियरिंग सो मेनी एग्जाम्स सो अमन कुछ 
और चीजें बताओ मतलब आ, कोई स्पेशल रीजन नाइसल चूज करने का या पीएचडी में जाने का क्योंकि जहां तक मुझे याद है आपका जो इंटीग्रेटेड मास्टर्स है ना तो उसमें कंप्यूटिंग भी है है ना आई थिंक यस 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 तो आज का जो सिनेरियो चल रहा है ये बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है आप लोग ध्यान से सुनना अभी जो एक रेस चल रही है भीड़ चल रही है ना वो जॉब की चल रही है जॉब इन द सेंस ऑफ प्लेसमेंट जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं वो एम में या एम में जा रहे हैं बट कोर्सेज चूज कर रहे हैं मैथ्स एंड कंप्यूटिंग या डेटा साइंस या इंडस्ट्रियल मैथमेटिक्स मतलब ऐसे कोर्स चूज कर रहे हैं जिनसे उनको प्लेसमेंट मिले तो आपके पास शायद अपॉर्चुनिटी थी प्लेसमेंट की अगर आप चाहते तो एम uh, कर सकते थे सो वाई डिड यू चूज पी एच डी actually sir uh, mathematics was something like uh, mathematics is an important part of life for me like uh, uh, not in the graduation uh, but before it uh, when i was in class 11th and 12th uh, i had a very okay. good interest in mathematics and uh, i wanted to do something something extraordinary in mathematics like uh, because i have been observing different mathematicians and all i i used to see the uh, see different type of videos and what mathematics can do wonders in the world like uh, we see like uh, even the computer science they use uh, mainly they use the discrete mathematics uh, they use the like uh, i think they use that uh, boolean algebra they use the graph graph theory yeah. and these all things these all things come from mathematics so the basic basic of any problem can be solved by using the mathematical algorithms that is what i feel so yeah. uh, i felt it uh, i felt it better to uh, to go through the route go to the route and uh, solve this like uh, before uh, I, i want to say my opinion that uh, before joining mathematical pathshala i had a interest in applied mathematics i had a more interest i had more interest in mathematics uh, applied mathematics than the pure mathematics uh, but uh, uh, but i felt that uh, studying so if someone is interested in mathematics he must be good in pure mathematics that uh, i later realized that uh, because pure mathematics gives you a direction to think uh uh when uh, even uh, all the applied mathematics the theorems we use the results we use they are all derived from pure mathematics like uh, for example uh, i say in the ordinary differential equation uh, ordinary differential equation uh, we all are familiar with the uniqueness and existence theorem that is the picard's yeah. existence and uniqueness theorem uh if we see we we, we define uh, that if the function is continuous and the derivative is bounded around some neighborhood then we say that exists that uh, solution will exist and will unique in the local local domain but yeah. if we see if if we see the proof this statement can be proved with the help of contraction mapping principle that is a part of uh, pure mathematics so yeah. uh, different type different type of things ultimately ultimately links to pure mathematics that is that is what i feel uh, before joining this institute like uh, i was not that good i was i was not at all good in pure mathematics like uh, in uh, in my university we used to study the proofs we used to write and uh, like something i won't use that word but we used to mug up the proofs and that happens in any 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 of those uh, local universities universities like i was not getting like uh, uh, for example uh, when i was in my second year like uh, second year or first year we had a subject uh, we had real analysis that is mathematical analysis one so we had the definition of a limit point <laughs> actually i was not able to understand the definition of limit points like i was i was saying ha huh, uh, we have a deleted neighborhood then uh, that intersection will be non empty when you subtract that uh, then when you remove that point and see that every uh, neighborhood will have non empty intersection something something so that sort of definition i used to uh, i used to remember those definition like i was not understanding uh, but uh, then i saw the lectures like uh, so one of your statements that uh, that i always remember is that मैथमेटिक्स अगर uh, अच्छा लगेगा तो चीजें हवा में दिखेगा लाइक यू यू टोल्ड मी दिस दिस थिंग लाइक इफ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व थिंग्स इन द एयर लाइक एवरीथिंग एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट देन यू आर गोइंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन दैट आई फील लाइक इफ सम थिंग्स थिंग्स यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन द एयर लाइक दैट इज ऑल योर इंट्यूशन देन यू कैन यू कैन सी समथिंग एंड यू आर गोइंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन दैट इज वेयर द माय इंटरेस्ट इन रियल एनालिसिस केम एंड आफ्टर रियल एनालिसिस Uh, the other other interest like uh, i was also uh, much benefited by the topology and metric spaces course uh, during the crash course because uh, yeah, metric space and gate course metric space and topology helped me a lot in the gate examination like uh, i scored like uh, two three questions from there so two three questions are uh, you know in gate exam two three question each of two marks uh, is a very big weight is like uh, like two three questions uh, they were very good they were very good like uh, i could I was able to get some marks in that question, so it was like a bonus for me, uh, studying metric space and topology. 
and so the exam pattern has also evolved with the time they are not focusing more on real analysis they are asking something about the topological property they are yeah. going into topological property they will ask something about compactness connectedness limit point interior frontier they will ask something related to that so uh, those who are preparing for the upcoming examination i would advise them to uh, study especially topology matrix based and function analysis these are the topics मुझे नहीं पता की टोपोलॉजी के अच्छे लेक्चर कहाँ मिलेंगे अच्छी बुक्स जो है उनको पढ़ना कैसे है तो एक ये प्रॉब्लम सबसे ज्यादा है यू आर फ्रॉम लोकल यूनिवर्सिटी यू है मोस्टली जो जनरेशन है वो लोकल यूनिवर्सिटीज में है तो कैन यू टेल मी कि वो ये टॉपिक के संग कैसे कोप अप करें बिकॉज अगर वो एनपीटीएल के लेक्चर्स देखने जाते हैं एनपीटीएल इज अ वेरी बिग वर्ड अगर वो वहां पे लेक्चर्स देखने जाते हैं तो इनिशियली उनको समझ में नहीं आते उनको लगता है कि एक तो सारा ही इंग्लिश चल रही है ऊपर से वो लोग सिर्फ लिखते जाते हैं प्रूफ कराते जाते हैं बट दे डोंट गो इन टू थॉट्स दैट हाउ डू वी थिंक दे जस्ट गिव द प्रूफ डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली बट दे डोंट गिव द फुल आइडिया as far as i have yeah. seen the lectures i yes, have it happens yeah 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 it happens so to kya aap kuch aisa bata sakte ho jisse students na ye jo advanced topics hain inko matlab acche se pad sake so in my case i had a great teacher like you so i don't know everyone is fortunate <laughs> or what so so it's it's not a matter of joke but i no, 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 it's that, not uh, joke like, i i know but i am smiling yeah not, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's something like uh, to succeed you need a great mentor you need a good mentor and uh, i was fortunate to have you as my mentor like uh, also people are not that much fortunate to have a mentor because uh, all all people are not that fortunate so npetel is a very good resource like uh, it's the program conducted by the iisc bangalore and all the seven old iits and uh, they they are they are they are very good the, the lectures are very good but the problem is that the lectures are mainly long and uh, they uh, the professor tend to go very deep into the proofs uh very deep into the proofs and they define some ideas which is uh, which a common person cannot understand if he doesn't have the basics like uh, mm-hmm. they will they will write something in open sets like i was studying product topology they will simply begin with the projection maps they will take the union they will form the sub bases and they will form the bases and they will generate the topology that that is something like uh, npt will do but i would suggest that follow some basic books like uh, the information you can obtain from the books are second to none because books uh, books will give you those knowledge uh, that you uh, that especially the foreign books they will give you the idea and they will force you force your brain to think like they will give some exercises so they will write something why the statement why why does that happen if this is happening why does that happen so like um, uh, we have the union of all open sets arbitrary union of open sets will be open but the intersection the property doesn't hold so they will ask why that doesn't hold so if we think that if we think that uh, what what's happening with the proof like writing a proof uh, in my opinion is a very very great task because writing a proof constructively that is like uh, we are also writing the proofs because in phd we have uh, we have to write yeah writing the proofs and, and when uh, we learn by ourselves like from the books uh, it was my practice of making notes because uh, when i read something uh i prepare something like uh, i have a bunch of papers with me and i write whatever i found it important and then i revise those things like it is impossible to go through the same book once again and again because it will also be a waste of time so yeah. once 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 when i read the book i used to point out the important points i used to highlight them uh, i used to keep uh, handy notes with me like i used to write something i, I used to write something and revise them like uh, in case of topology and uh, uh in case of topology i have prepared short notes and in case of matrix space i think for every subjects i have prepared and that helped me during the examination time uh, like when we have we, we need some concise uh, concise study material during the examination because it is impossible to go through the whole content during the examination yeah. it's it's uh, it's like uh, it's a problem uh, problem with many people that they don't prepare the, those notes and they rely on uh, huge study it's material it's smart they, i think yeah so it's smart because uh, the level of competition it's uh, the level of competition increasing day by day we should be smart because the old methods old methods won't uh, help us to pursue our dream that is what i feel 
uh, we need to be smart uh, because and i'll also say how how to tackle those examination strategies like uh, we have some something like uh, generally all the exam examinations are like mcq type or the msq type like uh, as you said if we cannot solve the question there are many questions we cannot solve them but it's yeah. easy to eliminate the options it's easy to eliminate the options like um, if we have some questions like uh, uh, i have learned this from you like eliminate the maximum number of options as possible if three are eliminated the question cannot be wrong so we need to go with the fourth option that that is something that is the trick i use in maximum questions like it's sometimes very hard to obtain the answer but it is easy to reject those incorrect options that is that is the trick i employ and the maximum time it is correct that that what i feel because i have given a lot of exams and i've used it uh, used a trick in case of mcq and msq questions we have that uh, that privilege and yeah. we can use that that trick as it is is or amil so uh, yes. uh jab aap uh, preparation kar rahe the phd interview ke liye to yes. maine bahut sare student ko ek problem face karte hue dekha hai they face uh, like ki interview ke questions ki practice kahan se kare generally log jo maine most of the students dekhe hain wo maximum jo students hai wo coaching karke nikal ke aate hain to unko kya hota hai ki books padhne ki aadat bahut zyada nahi hoti hai so yes, i understand ki questions books ke andar hai but unke liye unko aisa kya karna chahiye ki unko ek matlab exact place mil jaye jahan se wo interview interview questions ki practice kar sake so actually uh, my case i was i was studying the books and uh, those uh, study materials i prepared that was my handwritten study materials okay. like something something about uh, very interesting about interviews is that we cannot predict the type of question <laughs> they are going to make what is coming out that yeah. that is something that is something we cannot uh, predict anything what type of question they are going to ask because uh, in nizer it's a research institute and uh, I was I was preparing for I can remember I remember the the can, day before. Can you before can you share my... some some problems what they ask in interview? Okay sir okay sir I I'll say I'll say uh, I'm <laughs> continuing that. Uh, so the the day before uh, the day before my interview the 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 day in which I knew that I qualified the written test because first they conducted written test they shortlisted uh, shortlisted like thirty students out of some there were some some students like I don't remember how many students were there. the shortlisted something like 30 or 31 students into six slots into six slots and each slot was consisting of like four or five students uh, my interview was on 14 june yes my interview was on 14 june and uh, 13 june uh, the night 13 june i remember i was going through stuffs of function analysis because there were people uh, people whose interview was completed on that day i contacted them and asked what were the topics they were they were asking they said uh, they were mainly asking on analysis and especially they were asking uh, questions on this banach spaces this hilbert spaces on and all uh, this type of questions so i was i was not bit relaxed but i was there was some fear because i was not good at function analysis to that extent at that time because they were asking a lot of questions on function analysis on operators and norms everything so uh, basically i did is that uh, i basically opened the function analysis book and uh, i just uh, saw the theorems and saw how the ideas to prove and uh, and fortunately uh, sarthak sir had, had interview the day before it so mm-hmm. i contacted him and uh, and asked that uh, sir what was the level of that uh, then he said that this this uh, you prepare for the basics and uh, he also had me I'll, i'll say about him also uh, he or he also had a lot of role in uh, of me coming to nizer uh, okay, so uh, nice. the thing uh, that the, the thing is that uh, like uh, i was prepared for complex analysis real analysis and uh, uh this function analysis i was just just a superficial knowledge of complex and anal- of function analysis mm, just uh, when i entered entered the interview interview panel uh, there were six professors uh, like uh, six were sitting there and uh, they asked me to introduce and uh, they asked me to tell my ranks and all what all the exams have qualified uh, then they asked me to take that marker and go to the board the first question they asked me if uh, a function uh, if a complex holomorphic function uh is defined on an open connected set such that a derivative is zero so what can you say about the function and if you remove the connectedness what can you say that was the question so i said uh, the uh, the function will be constant obviously they will ask why give the reason yes. so um, i said uh, so this is the reason like uh, i gave like 
I didn't go with the identity theorem. I gave the Cauchy Riemann equation like ux equal to uy, all the derivatives have vanished. So I gave the reason that uh, this function is continuous, uh, this all the derivatives all are continuous. So you can have the property of derivative that it is vanishing on a subset of Rn, that, that it has to be has to be constant. But then they asked me, okay, then uh, then write the definition of the derivative. That is the partial derivative that is I'm, that I'm using. I was using. So I wrote the definition of this. Then they asked. I um, uh, it was it was my mistake that I by mistakenly uh, took the name of metric space. Like I said that this is happening in metric space. So one of the professors was so smart. They asked. He asked me define the notion of a derivative in a metric space. <laughs> like yeah, derivative on a metric space. Then. Uh, I said, uh, sir, I don't have any idea. I was honest, sir. Like I was, I am always honest. If I don't know answer, I will say I don't know that answer. Because uh, I asked you before, like uh, two days before, uh, sir, give me some uh, some tips and tricks. Then you told that be honest and uh, stay grounded. That is that is something you said. So I was I was that if I don't know the answer, I will say, sir, I don't know the answer. So I said that, sir, I don't know about a metric space, but I can define it for a norm linear space. Norm linear space, I know about that. For initially, he, he disagreed. He said, uh, you have to do on a metric space. Then I said, no, sir, I don't know about it. But if you want, I can give the definition of a on a long linear space. OK, then then he asked me, OK, uh, so can you define uh, the notion? OK, you define the notion of a, a norm linear space. Then I gave the definition what we have from this. Then uh, generally, I use the matrix D. And then he asked me, what is this D? I called sir, this matrix is called Jacobian matrix, also called the derivative of matrix, uh, that it can be explicitly written as this form. Then, uh, a, then a teacher said, you should have said that there exists a linear transformation. Then I said, sir, every matrix has a linear transformation and, and any linear transformation can be, uh, any linear transformation can be expressed as a matri matrix with respect to a given basis. Then they said, okay, okay, it's fine. Then. Then they asked me questions from, they asked me a lot of questions from complex analysis because uh, they asked me the, the areas in which, because in any institute we go to go for an interview, they generally ask what are your topics in which you have prepared. I have basically told them that uh, I have prepared in analysis and topology because the topology was also, I have prepared a lot. Uh, so uh, basically he asked me what analysis. Then I said, sir, I have prepared uh, real, and real and complex analysis. I didn't take the name of functional analysis. So uh, then he asked me to define uh, some like he asked me to define a uh, bi analytic function that is uh, bi analytic function the inverse should be should be also analytic from the um, like from the uh, entire complex plane that is range uh, the domain will be c to the half of the uh, upper half of the complex plane that is that should be on two I said sir it is not possible then then obviously he asked me why then I said uh, sir uh, the range of an, a non constant entire function should be dense in c but the upper half plane is not dense in C. So he asked me, can you prove that uh, prove that statement? Then I told, sir, I took the help of this uh, this type of like some Picard's theorem. I don't remember which Picard's theorem it was. Like I said then, sir, I know something that is Picard's theorem, but I'm not familiar with the name. Then they asked me, okay, if you're not familiar with the name, you can, you can, can you state that theorem? Then I stated the theorem that, uh, sir, I am not familiar with the name, which is little Picard's theorem and which is great Picard's theorem. I know how to use them. Just I know how to use them. So you you said like uh, you always said that the naming of the theorem is not important. You should yeah. know how it, how it, how it is used. Like I said that uh, this is happening. Uh, then they asked me. Then they introduced like uh, they asked me some question like uh, what is dense? Uh, so the thing is that when you use some terminology, they will ask uh, ask you to define that. Like I use the term dense. Then uh, they asked me dense. Uh, I defined it for a general topological space. The moment yeah, I actually they want to see how clear you are with your definitions yeah, and yeah, each uh, terms. Yeah, then I defined the topological space. When I defined the topological space, then another professor started asking questions on topology. <laughs> then, then, then he said me, uh, he gave me a non-empty set X and a metric space uh, Y. Then he gave that I gave you a topology on this. Can you define a topology such that uh, this function is continuous? Uh, then I gave, I, I took the inverse image, I collected that and showed that uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it will act as a sub basis, then you can generate, we can, I, I gave that, that notion. Then uh, the thing asked me, okay, it's, it's for one continuous function. If I have a fa family of continuous function, what can you do? So <laughs> I said, okay, sir, uh, we can define the intersection and we can take them, sir. Then he was trying me to, uh, he was trying to confuse me. Then he was saying, are you sure? Are you sure of that? Uh, the question in which I knew I knew it kind of confident. I said yes, I'm I'm sure of that. Uh, then something he asked me something like uh, Lindelof's Picard's theorem. 
like uh, we call it the Picard's existence theorem. He asked me something called the Lindos Picard's theorem in OD. Then uh, he asked me to state that theorem, and uh, uh, there was a question in the in the written test that I had solved. He asked me to solve that question because it was a bit tough because there was some complicated function. Then I gave him the proper argument that this is happening, this modulus function. Actually, sir, we had something like uh, function was differentiable. Function was differentiable, and at at any at the zero at origin, the function had some positive value, and it had the modulus function. He asked me uh, why will be the modulus function differentiable at that. So I said that sir, zero is the problematic point. Like zero is a problematic point, but we don't have a zero. If if the function uh, we don't have zero in any local local neighborhood, so if the function is non-zero by the definition, because it's satisfying the differential equation, that means the function is continuous. Continuous. So if we have some point uh, in which that that is positive, then we have an open interval in which that is positive. That is the logic I use. Then he said, okay, it's fine. Uh, then uh, he asked something like uh, he used to uh, he define he asked me to define a function from the upper half plane to the unit disk. Like we study in the uh, in the conformal mapping. Then I said it's conformal mapping. Once I use the term conformal mapping, he asked me to define that. <laughs> What's a conformal map? Then I said, uh, so it's an uh, angle preserving map. Uh, this direction. Then he asked me some questions about it. Uh, then uh, finally, uh, after this, uh, then he asked the first question that I did. Like uh, he asked me to prove that uh, using. Uh, he asked me, do can you prove this by some other theorem? Like the first question. If the function, of, uh, the derivative of a function vanishes, then it has to be constant. Then um, I said, uh, sir, I can think of something. Then he asked me, okay, uh, tell me your favorite theorem in complex analysis. I was very smart. I said, sir, identity <laughs> theorem. Identity <laughs> theorem. I, I'll use it. <laughs> then he said, okay, state, state that theorem. Then I said, uh, I I wrote, yeah. I, I then then he said, uh, can you use that theorem? Then I said, okay, sir, I can use it. I expanded the function locally in in the Taylor series and uh, then found it. Then he said, okay, it's fine. Uh, sir, my interview was like uh, almost one hour. Yeah, one I can see it will be long. It must they be. Asked, they asked me only four to five questions, but the, the but the duration was one hour. Like for every question, there was a follow up of five to six questions. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Every, every person was asking. Like uh, there were professors in number theory. There were professors in this uh, algebraic geometry. There were professors in graph theory. Actually, they didn't ask me the question because my area was not uh, in there. Uh, the professors like the professor on differential equation and we had a professor like uh, he is uh, basically from isc bangalore uh, he has done phd from there he was asking me more questions on this analysis because uh, uh, i said uh, it's uh, i want to do something in analysis uh, then he used to, uh, he asked me a lot of questions then uh, then he also asked me about uh, different different type of uh, we can say about this uh, this connectedness and everything like uh, how can you say this uh, in a topological space? This happens, that happens, and different different things. So the interview, uh, the interview experience, like uh, like I gave all the answers, but uh, the uh, the uh, the expression of their that professor's face were like uh, I I have made some mistake. Like they were uh, they were uh, like uh, in the pale face to everyone. Like uh, I consulted, I asked to other people like how was the interview? Then said yeah. Even if you give the correct answer, they they don't smile. That they, they don't even smile. They just uh, keep that uh, pale face and they said, okay, you can find. Yeah, so, they remain new, neutral, I guess. Yeah, they, they, they don't want to, uh, they don't want to show their emotions. That is, that yeah. is what I feel. Like they yeah. don't want to make the student feel any impression that of him getting selected or rejected. That is something that, that is good. I feel that is good. And that will introduce that transparency also uh, in type of judgment. And uh, after the interview, I was not uh, okay. I gave all the, all the answers uh, correctly, but, uh, it, it was not, I felt that it was not only me who gave all the answers correctly. It may be there were students like uh, many people were having very, very good ranks uh, in gate and uh, they have come for the interview. And I thought, uh, okay, they might have given, they might also have given the interview. And it's, it's, uh, it's a fair to think because all of us have, has given the competitive exam and all of us have, would have that knowledge, that same knowledge. So I was, I was not that confident that, okay, okay, my interview went good, but I felt that, yeah. Um, other people they also have done the interview good so there must there may be a chance for this nicer uh, so after like uh, i was in search of different options like uh, like if uh, this not this doesn't happen I'll, I'll focus on something else and it was a here, dream here, here, here i have a small question for you uh, yes. suppose in upcoming scenario uh, you qualify for jr you qualify 
or JRF and you get some better option than NICE. And so would you replace? So it will uh, it will depend on if you get uh, ISER if you get ISER or ISI or IIC Bangalore. So will you replace? So uh, so it will depend on uh, the the PSG like uh, what has happened to PSG because now we are doing the coursework and if I get a better guide and something I get uh, a good subject like for research then I might not prefer because uh, it's already it would be one year like yeah. uh, at this nicer so but I, I i will definitely think if i get some isc bangalore isers i won't consider that if, even if i get isers because uh, i feel the nicers are at par with the isers but isc is something something very good so yeah. if if i get an opportunity at isc bangalore i i'll think i i definitely will go for it okay for okay, okay. isc bangalore and it could be isi imsc chennai anything एक चीज और मैं यहाँ पे समझा कि अगर आप किसी भी रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो आई एम एक्सपीरियंस आई थिंक तो मुझे लगता है कि आप वहां पे कोई एक सिंगल टॉपिक प्रिपेयर नहीं कर सकते इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर इंटरव्यू एट आई सर और नाई सर और आई आई सी और और यू आर गेटिंग इंटरव्यू ऑफ एम बी एच एम एस वेल तो वहां पर आप कोई एक सिंगल टॉपिक प्रिपेयर नहीं कर सकते यू कैन नॉट से मैंने सिर्फ फोर्टी ही प्रिपेयर किया है बिकॉज यू विल सी उनके पैनल में छह सात प्रोफेसर होंगे जैसा हमने ने बताया तो वो हर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में होंगे छह से ज्यादा हो सकते हैं कम मुझे नहीं लगता होंगे तो वहां पर हर एक टॉपिक का मास्टर वहां पर होगा तो आप अगर रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो तो एटलीस्ट दो से तीन टॉपिक आपको पढ़ने पड़ेंगे एटलीस्ट दो टॉपिक डिटेल में और बाकी सारे टॉपिक के बेसिक्स आपको पता होने चाहिए अगर आपको रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में एंटर करना है तो मिनिमम मिनिमम या बिकॉज क्वेश्चन कहीं से भी आ सकते हैं इट विल डिपेंड अपॉन योर आंसर अगर आपने अपने आंसर में आप रियल एनालिसिस का आंसर दे रहे हो या ओडी का आंसर दे रहे हो और आपने वेक्टर यूज करा है तो दे विल जम्प एंड जम्प इन टू वैक्टर कैलकुलस दे नॉट लीव यू दे आर जस्ट रेडी टू जम्प दे आर जस्ट लुकिंग एनी टर्मिनोलॉजी टू डिफाइन टू गिव दिनेशन एंड एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दैट देस या अच्छा अमन एक चीज और बताओ जो नाइसर इंस्टीट्यूट है वहां पे स्टाइपन कितना मिलता है क्या बाकी आई से ज्यादा है और जो स्टाइपन होता है वो गेट के थ्रू मिलता है नेट के थ्रू मिलता है या या, आ, आ, या जो इंस्टीट्यूट का खुद का स्कॉलरशिप होता है आईआरएफ के नाम से वो मिलता है सर इन केस ऑफ दिस फाइनेंशियल असिस्ट नाइजर इज प्रोबेबली वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन दंट्री लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट वाई एक्सप्लेन इट वाई द फीस इज वेरी लो It's how it's much can you tell us, uh, sir? Can you guess it? How much it would be the fee for per semester, including hostel and mess? Sir, mess we don't uh, we don't have include include that. Uh, we pay for it separately. I'm asking okay, for I'll, hostel. Okay, I'll say for hostel level. and for academics, I'll say thirty uh, thousand for six months. So it's just eight thousand something. It's too less. बहुत कम है. Yeah. exactly that that is something but uh, for the first semester due to some registration it is something like 15000 and caution money you have to spend yeah it. yeah that 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 is something that uh, but for uh, subsequent semesters we have to pay something like 8000 uh, 8000 something and uh, the stipend is uh, the same like uh, it's given standard in the iits like it was 31000 earlier and it's 37 it has become 37 now that is uh, that it is it has been updated like 37000 and the thing the extra thing we get is something like the contingency grant here like uh, we get up to 40000 a year the contingency okay. grant to to Ye buy this ye bata do uh, contingency jo aapko milti hai aapke seminar attend karne ke liye conference attend yeah. karne ke liye kuch books aap jo special books hain costly book hai unko purchase kar sakte ho aap contingency se generally aapko jo jrf hai wo 20000 per year deta hai yes sir aur nicer mein he is saying they provide you 40000 yes sir उसमें आप फॉरेन ट्रिप करना चाहो वो भी कर सकते हो किसी कॉन्वर्ट किसी कॉन्फ्रेंस से भी यस दैट इज दैट इज दैट इज द थिंग दैट इन प्राइस प्राइस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नाइजर इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट लाइक इन प्राइस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू या इट इज आई कैन सी एंड एंड इट्स अंडर डीए एंड डीए फंड्स द डीए फंडेड इंस्टीट्यूट्स आर वेरी गुड लाइक बीट द आईएमएस चेन्नई इट्स आल्सो फंडेड बाय डीए एंड इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ एचबीएन द होमी बाबा नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट uh homi baba national institute is a group of institution like uh, we have the imsc chennai nizer also comes under it they are a group of uh, nine or ten institutes, I think also. I think. uh 
uh, yeah it may be uh, it may be like there are a group of institutes like uh, combinedly called the homi baba national institute hbni so it's collectively funded uh, it's collectively funded by the department of atomic energy and funding here is good so i think that's the reason why the fee is uh, so less okay uh, so uh, i have some more of some more questions to you yes sir okay i am this being little selfish now uh, don't mind एक्चुअली ना अभी मुझे कमेंट में किसी ने लिखा कि सर आपको ना पी के क्वेश्चन के बैच स्टार्ट करने चाहिए जहाँ पर आप पी के जो इंटरव्यू के प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनको आप डिस्कस कर सको सो एक्चुअली मैंने अभी क्या रिसेंटली स्टार्ट किया है अभी मैंने रिसेंटली पॉइंट सेट टेपोलॉजी चैप्टर खत्म करा है तो वहाँ पर मुझे लगा कि दो प्रॉब्लम्स ऐसी हैं जो शायद इंटरव्यू में पूछी जा सकती हैं या आप पी के रिटर्न एग्जाम्स भी दोगे ना वहाँ पर भी आ सकती हैं दोनों प्रॉब्लम्स मैं आपको बोल के बता दूंगा आपको समझ में आ जाएगा कि मैं किन प्रॉब्लम्स की बात कर रहा हूँ तो फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वॉज की एवरी ओपन सेट इन आर कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज अ काउंटेबल डिजॉइन यूनियन ऑफ ओपन इंटरवल्स दिस इज वन प्रॉब्लम एंड द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम वॉज वी हैव अ डिस्टेंस फंक्शन और वी कैन डिफाइन अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ अ सेट फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट एक्स सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एक्स एंड ए इज डिफाइंड एज इनफीम ऑफ मॉड्यूल ऑफ एक्स माइनस ए वी आर ए वेरीज ओवर कैपिटल ए सो आई आस्ट टू शो दैट दिस डिस्टेंस फंक्शन इज जीरो इफ एंड ओनली इफ दिस एक्स इज अ मेंबर ऑफ ए क्लोजर टोमेटिकली फॉर इंटरव्यूज so after finishing yeah. the topic i said them ki i'll complete the proofs as well after finishing the uh, sub, i will fin- uh, after finishing the topic so after finishing that point set topology i gave all the proofs and i told that continuity we will be discussing in continuous uh, in functions so i told this one so maine to ye start kiya hai but kuch bachcho ne bola ki kya hame psd ka matlab koi aisa batch start karna chahiye so i'm like what do you say about this so actually the opinion varies from person to person like just go uh, I was, like just go like that you are preparing for interview because now you have already uh, yeah got the interview so your thinking yeah. is somehow different so honestly saying i didn't take the help of like any interview batches uh, batches in uh, for creating this interview actually like, there is I only take... there, there is only one institute who provide this i think that is noble forum everyone knows that okay sir no i i didn't take the help of any institute like uh, i just prepared as i said i made some notes like handwritten notes and i just prepared it okay it will it will be better if uh, if the students are wanting that but something i say that if uh, if someone takes an uh, admission in that uh, interview interview courses like uh, interview like interview batch like uh, i feel that uh, if uh, the person thinks of himself like what uh, uh, the problems like something like the new problem so he would get something better that is what i feel uh, people people may disagree with this opinion disagree to this opinion but i feel that it would be better that if people uh, uh, do the things by themselves i i feel that uh, you can uh, you can take the help of some teachers like uh, you can take the help there are many teachers available then uh, people seeing this video you can even ask money sir about this he is he is he is very capable of doing all these things but the thing is that i would feel first uh, we need to think how to approach the problem that that is what i feel because uh, in an interview no one knows what kind of questions they can frame like yeah, exactly like they they asked me a question like i was aware of this continuous functions uh, continuous function how you define uh, the topology in which the function will be continuous but i wasn't aware of this like uh, family of continuous function like it was spot on that i thought something like there uh, what they asked me like i thought that is spot on like just it was an intuition i gave them that intuition i i also said that sir i was i knew about this but as you asked this it would be in this way i just gave them the intuition so i feel uh, giving an intuition is also enough if your intuition is correct like giving them the right direction then they will feel that yeah you are going in the good you are going in the good way because it's not always possible to approach at the exact solution like in numerical analysis we always do it's uh, not always possible to approach the exact solution we have a sequence of approximation which will converge to the actual solution that is like if we get a direction to the problem then 
I think that's also fine. But uh, it may the opinion may differ from people. Uh, some people may want this interview back. But uh, personally, I feel that uh, it would be better if we do things of our own. And if there is some doubts, we can take help of different resources in the internet. That is what I feel. Because okay. NPTEL, NPTEL is very good for interview, I feel. Because the ideas they give, uh, they give NPTEL is very good for interview. That is because I have taken help from that. Uh, so different type of proofs and uh, different ideas they use. The main thing is what ideas you are going to use in the proof. Like first question you you told that any disjoint set in R can be written as uh, the any any open set can be written as the countable union of this. Yeah. That is something that can be solved with the help of topology also. If we have ideas, something called the Lindelof space. Yeah, actually, that, I also that's... told them it is actually a basic idea of the larger problem that exactly. yeah. you have a concept of open base and open subbase. Yeah, yeah, that is that is something. Yeah. Yeah. And sir, something I have pointed out that they will ask some question, which is the foundation of a larger problem. That is something they do in the interview. Yeah, that is also. Yeah, I have feel it. Yeah. मैं हमेशा मतलब बोल बोल चुका हूं बहुत बार कि इंटरव्यू के प्रॉब्लम्स या के एग्जाम्स के प्रॉब्लम वो ही होंगे जो किसी लार्जर प्रॉब्लम का एक बेसिक पार्ट होगा या 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 दैट दैट इज फाइन दैट इज ऑलवेज एंड इन द कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स आल्सो दे इंट्रोड्यूस सच काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ इट इज दे आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग न्यू प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक इन द गेट इन आईआईटी जैम नेट एवरीथिंग दे आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द न्यू प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक द फोर्सिंग पीपल टू थिंक व्हाट इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज़ द लेवल ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन इज इज गोइंग ऑन एक्सपोनेंशियली देयर डिफिकल्ट स्टैंडर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स क्योंकि जब मुझे चीजें बनानी होती हैं तो मैं भी ये सेम चीजें करता हूँ आई जस्ट डाउनलोड द बुक्स फ्रॉम गूगल एंड आई यूज इन माई टेस्ट सीरीज एज वेल जब मुझे लगता है कि हाँ ये क्वेश्चन ईजी हो रहे हैं थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट करने की नीड है तो आई डू दैट तो आपको प्रॉब्लम गूगल पे मिल जाएंगे तो थोड़ा एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए ना आपको थोड़ा शायद ऐसा एटमोसफियर चाहिए जैसे जब मैं अपने मास्टर्स में था ना तो मेरे साथ एक दोस्त था नवीन नाम का अगर वो शायद ये वीडियो देख रहा हो तो समझ जाएगा तो ही वॉज वेरी स्मार्ट in using google he was very sure that this question i'll get on google this question i'll get on google and he got exactly the same questions so i just learned something from him that how to use this google so aap book kar sakte ho agar aap serious ho to sir in case of interviews i feel luck also plays some important role like uh, that that happens in case of interviews like uh, if you get some easier problems at the beginning then it will build up the confidence but if you get some uh, difficult problems at the beginning and uh, you would be uh, be of low confidence then you couldn't even tackle the easy easy problems that they give in the subsequently uh, that yeah. is what i feel. so there is something a bit of luck is always important and uh, i i believe that that luck comes from the hard work we do if we do the hard work that is something like uh, like in bhagavad gita i have i have read something like you shouldn't think more about what's uh, what's out of your control you should uh, do something that's in your control like yeah, it's, it's, it's my practice thing. that i i don't i don't uh, think of those things that is out of my control i try to maximize or optimize those things that is uh, that is in my control like uh, my in my control i need to study this or that what will happen <laughs> i don't have control over it uh, yeah. something that I, uh, I i i need to give my best that is that is something that i have learned uh, learned over the years ओके दैट्स अ ग्रेट लाइन आई थिंक ये मैंने ना बहुत बड़ी बात कही है मुझे भी बहुत अच्छी लगी पर्सनली जनरली मैं थोड़ा थी टाइप का हूं तो मैंने ये बुक्स वगैरह नहीं पढ़ी है मैं इन चीजों से थोड़ा सा दूर हूं बट ये लाइन मुझे अच्छी लगी कि हां आपके बस में जो चीजें हैं आप उनको बेटर कर सकते हो पर जो आपके बस में नहीं है ना आप उस पे सिर्फ अपना टाइम वेस्ट कर सकते हो आप सिर्फ सोचोगे और टाइम वेस्ट करोगे और कुछ नहीं कर सकते अच्छा जो लोग ऑनलाइन है अगर आप में से कोई भी कुछ क्वेश्चंस पूछना चाहते हैं यू आर वेरी वेलकम एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेरी विल वर्क Related to mathematics, I'll try my best, or Amman will try his best to answer. Yeah. You have some congratulations, Mina. If you are looking at the comments, so let me look at the. It would be my yeah, friends, sure. I think. Yeah. You have so many friends, for like no. Yeah. Uh, 
you are very social on social sites you are very active on social sites when i send you message you just reply within uh, a minute uh, yes sir yes sir because i was waiting for that message uh, i said yeah <laughs> sir might send the message at any time <laughs> yeah one question is there uh uh subhma so puch rahe sir nicer me kaun sa topic acha hai pure mathematics me uh yeah uh if you're interested in analysis we basically have two types of analysis that is the uh, functional analysis and harmonic analysis in harmonic analysis uh, people must be aware of that like uh, use of fourier series uh, that the fourier type analysis we study something about the lp space uh, and uh, sarthak bhaiya can t- uh, tell it uh, more accurately because he is on to that topic uh, as far the harmonic bata do sarthak sir bhi hamare sath jude hue the abhi institute mein yeah. he is very good person he is very good at teaching complex analysis also he taught linear yeah. algebra that was also great i think so he is also currently studying at nicer he has joined phd this year so na unke sath bhi kabhi ek session karunga sarthak sir ke sath mein so you will like next session yes sir uh so um, sarthak sir also helped me a lot uh during this uh, this i went complex analysis and uh, not only uh, so you sarthak, are confused sir, what to say it is bhaiya or sir i yes sir <laughs> I, i'm still confused what 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 to use because uh, it's uh, i you should use sarthak bhai sir or bhaiya uh, yeah it should be sarthak bhai yeah i think <laughs> subsequently i will use this after some time i can use yeah. this but uh, but uh, i want to thank uh, apart from uh, manish sir i would also like to thank uh, sarthak sir and uh, prashant sir even uh, because the applied lectures were also very good uh, which helped me in the gate examination and also joshna ma'am uh, for teaching those topics of this uh, differential equations and all i would like to thank uh, every every members of mathematical partial and all the technical teams uh, to facilitate the video uh, uh, video without any error like uh, to and all of the students of uh, mathematical partial i want to say something that you are probably in one of the best institutes uh, for uh, studying this higher mathematics and uh, use the opportunity opportunity to, to the best and uh, manish sir is uh, something you will you will realize him uh, that he is one of the greatest and why i regard him more uh, much more than uh, i regard sir manish sir uh, as very good like i cannot express that like uh, i have always said that manish sir i regard him as my idol like i try to idolize him thank you so much bahut dino ke baad maine apni tareef suni pata hai sir you deserve this the actually saying you deserve all this acha sir ek aur cheez main aapki comments sabke comments ka answer karunga na chalo pehle answer karte hain ki comments ka na aap bhi apna youtube ka window kholo कुछ लोग पूछ रहे हैं सो प्लीज ट्राई टू आंसर सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स पार्था इज आस्किंग आईसर और आई आई टी विच इज बेस्ट फॉर पी एच डी इन मैथमेटिक्स सो विच इज बेस्ट आई आई टी और आईजर्स yeah so i would feel uh, nicer is good and even if nicer is also in the list i would i would prefer nicer yeah actually for mathematics uh, yes yeah mathematics, actually yes. phd is a research degree so for yeah. research the research institutes are better yeah that is what i feel sir so parsha is also a very good student like and is a very good friend of mine Okay, that's great. Ah, uh, he is also connected with us uh, since very uh, long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he also got interviewed. I think IIT Patna. Oh, see, ah, uh, he also he also got PhD course. I think. Yeah. Aja, ah, just eat. My personal personal question. Ka answer karna na kuch ek do. Yes. He, अभी का जो सिनेरियो है ना वो थोड़ा सा कॉम्पिटेटिव है uh, मतलब ये मैं अपने काम से बोल रहा हूँ आपको जैसे नए यूट्यूब चैनल नए प्लेटफॉर्म नए कोचिंग ये रेगुलर बेसिस पे बिल्डअप हो रही है है ना क्राउड भी धीरे धीरे इंक्रीज हो रहा है सो व्हाट शुड बी इंक्रीज इन आर टीम और यू आर गेटिंग वट आई एम आस्किंग एट वट बेटर वी शुड डू 
so firstly the hamsafar series like uh, it's very famous i think uh, and this time it's very famous like mathematical patshalas hamsafar series is famous like uh, many students have uh, got, got the benefits from it and i personally because but i but i but i don't know that that who or who are getting benefits so a lot of people are getting benefits i don't like, got to uh, know that who are getting benefit or not that is a problem i think actually sir they might not have told you about it but uh, there are many students that are getting benefits like uh, it it would be some controversial if i say some names but uh, i i cannot take those names but there are people okay. like okay. Uh, who got a lot of benefits i i might say you personally about this but i cannot say them okay uh, but but what i am yeah. why i am asking this one because if i don't see that i am getting appreciation for something so i might not get the motivation yeah, to yeah. continue that yeah thing. that, that Agar that that is a real thing yeah yeah that that's a real thing इसलिए मैं आपसे बोलता रहता हूँ कि अगर आप लोग इंटरेस्टेड हो देन आई डू दिस देन आई डू सिर्फ तो कोई और सजेशन हम सफर सीरीज के अलावा दैट इज आई विल कंसीडर सो लाइक द लेवल ऑफ कंपटीशन इज इंक्रीज आई वुड फाइंड टू सो एवरीथिंग इज देयर लाइक यू आर आल्सो द मैथमेटिकल पार्ट सेल इज आल्सो इंक्रीजिंग द लेवल विद द इयर्स लाइक before the lectures were uh, lectures were good but uh, the current lectures are uh, are getting better what i feel they're getting better and uh, it's it's according to the competition because uh, uh, with the increasing competition we have to we have to increase our level too otherwise we won't won't exist in the competition that is that is a thing like uh, many of my friends uh, friends took took the number and they have enrolled in mathematical patshala uh, patshala but uh, the thing is that i get always i get the positive feedback like uh, like if i suggested them something they give me the positive feedback that that institute is good like suggestion would be something sir it would be better if we get some good content in applied like uh, applied mathematics because pure mathematics is, was never a problem of mathematical parts pure mathematics was never a problem and uh, prashant sir was there for applied mathematics the so applied mathematics was equally good but uh, but when prashant sir uh, left mathematical partial due to some his further studies like i feel that gap is not completely filled like i feel it's my genuine opinion so okay so uh, this is when my uh, clear commitment aap me se jo log bhi videos dekh rahe hain if you think that you are very good in applied mathematics or in mathematics because if you are good at mathematics you can teach applied or pure that does not matter much so uh, if you want to teach on our platform so you are very much welcome uh, you will have to go just like a small interview with me or with one or two more persons but there will be only one interview and on that basis we will be uh, choosing that you are eligible for teaching on our platform or not so uh, so that is a clear commitment from my side if you wish to join from tomorrow then i will be taking your interview tomorrow morning that's possible from my side because i am also lacking in the applied mathematics so i am ready to take and so for exam like gate we need applied mathematics that is yeah. we need those those topics like those vector calculus this integration and all we need them uh, this will increase the rank like boosting the ranks because uh, a one and uh, one and two marks are very important in gate those people are aware of that we can see in one mark uh, we have something like the rank differs by 100 rank like in yeah. one mark so one and two marks are very important so applied topics uh, something like uh, in applied topics we don't have to revise it much we just need to know the formulas and the way and to just to solve the problems that is what i believe uh, to study applied mathematics yeah for real uh, real analysis for pure mathematics you need a proper revision i feel uh, a proper revision schedule is uh, required for this okay so uh कुछ और क्वेश्चंस आए हैं अच्छा मेरे पास एक कमेंट है यस सर आई लाइक टू हम सफर सीरीज थैंक्स लिमिटेड मैथ्स फॉर योर कंट्रीब्यूशन सर आपका गेट का नोमेरिकल एनालिसिस मैंने आपके यूट्यूब चैनल से ही पढ़ा था मैंने सब क्वेश्चन अटेंड किए थे इस वजह से मेरा गेट में अच्छा रैंक बन आया अब मैं वी एन नागपुर में पीएचडी कर रहा हूं 
ओके दैट्स ग्रेट विवेक कि आपको मेरा नोमेरिकल एनालिसिस अच्छा लगा आई ऑल्सो ट्राई कि मैं कोई एक टॉपिक और बना के डालूँ जो बहुत अच्छे लेवल से होगा सार्थक सर आप क्लास लेंगे कि नहीं लेंगे सार्थक सर अभी कॉम्प्लेक्स uh, एनालिसिस पूरा करेंगे उसके बाद अगर उनको टाइम मिलेगा तो वो करेंगे अदरवाइज उनका डिसीजन है क्योंकि रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट में आई थिंक लाइफ बहुत बिजी है यस सर सो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वन सर आई थिंक एक पार्ट्स की क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस बहुत जरूरी है डेली जो करनी चाहिए अंकित पीडी पांडे दैट आई विल कंसिडर कि हाँ ऐसा कुछ होना चाहिए uh, कि एक घंटे की प्रॉब्लम सेशन होना चाहिए या टाइम थिंक अबाउट इट फंक्शनल एनालिसिस दिस ईयर होगा गेट में 99.9 परसेंट तो होगा क्योंकि एक्चुअली देखो मैं आपको बताऊं मैं जो मैंने अपना स्केड्यूल सेट किया था ना वो बहुत अच्छा स्केड्यूल सेट किया था बट मेरे घर पे ना कुछ ऐसी ट्रेजिडी हुई है शायद आप लोगों को नहीं yes. पता होगा और मैं थोड़ा सा सोशली एक्टिव नहीं हूँ तो मैंने बहुत ज्यादा लोगों से भी ये शेयर भी नहीं करा जो पेड मेंबर्स होंगे उनको आई थिंक पता होगा यूट्यूब पे जो अनपेड मेंबर्स है उनको शायद नहीं पता होगा तो मैं दो महीने से उसमें ही फंसा हुआ था तो अभी मैं जितना भी फ्री हूँ जितना भी मैं काम कर पाऊंगा उसमें मैं आई ट्राई की आई डू माई वन हंड्रेड टेन परसेंट सो आई डू दैट एक और चीज पूछी थी किसी ने आपसे आपके लिए सिलेक्शन रिटर्न प्लस इंटरव्यू और आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग रिटर्न एग्जाम इंटरव्यू हिसाब से सिलेक्शन होगा नाइसर में सिलेक्शन जो होगा फाइनल सिलेक्शन वो रिटर्न और इंटरव्यू दोनों को मिला के देखा जाएगा या अगर आपने रिटर्न क्वालिफाई कर लिया तो फिर इंटरव्यू पे डिपेंड करेगा सर वंस वी हैव अ शॉर्ट लिस्टिंग क्राइटेरिया लाइक फॉर जेआरएफ एवरी स्टूडेंट्स आर वेलकम फॉर द रिटर्न टेस्ट आई एम सीइंग इफ वी हैव अ इफ अ पर्सन हैज अ जेआरएफ दे आर ऑटोमेटिकली शॉर्ट लिस्टेड फॉर गेट दे हैव अ पर्टिकुलर कट ऑफ स्कोर लाइक इट वाज 28 दिस टाइम फॉर फॉर एग्जाम और फॉर इंटरव्यू फॉर फॉर द रिटर्न टेस्ट फॉर द रिटर्न टेस्ट ओके ओके या they they have shortlisted then they will take a test uh, test that was like consisting of 30 questions i don't remember actually uh, then they selected like 30 or 31 students from that written test and then they selected uh, then they shortlisted them for an interview then from that 32 students only 6 were selected okay so final selection will be on your uh, interview yeah that will be based on interview uh, their rank won't matter uh, gate score uh, rank that won't matter that that will only matter how you perform in the interview okay आईटी से पीएचडी करने के लिए एमएससी में मिनिमम सीजीपीए कितना होना चाहिए देखो सिक्स सीजीपीए तो आप मान के चलो हर जगह सिक्स ही होना चाहिए बहुत ज्यादा नहीं चाहिए बट अगर आप आईटी से एमएससी कर रहे हो और आपका एट पॉइंट फाइव से सीजीपीए ऊपर है तो सारे आईटीज में आपके पास एक अपॉर्चुनिटी एक बेनिफिट होगा कि आप उनमें डायरेक्ट इंटरव्यू दे सकते हो जैसे अब आई में रिटर्न टेस्ट होता है पहले उसके बाद इंटरव्यू के लिए बैठा बिठाया जाता है बट अगर आपके आई में एमएससी में 8.5 पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंटर से ऊपर है तो आप डायरेक्ट उनके इंटरव्यू दे सकते हो ओके सो बाकी कुछ लोगों को जो भी पूछना है आप पूछ सकते हो अदरवाइज आई एम स्टार्ट विद माय प्रॉब्लम्स। तो अच्छा एक चीज और ये थोड़ी सी जेनुअन है आजकल का जो सिनेरियो चल रहा है मतलब आ, लोग जॉब्स के पीछे ज्यादा जा रहे हैं क्योंकि उनको लगता है कि एमएससी में प्लेसमेंट मिल जाता है या एमटेक में प्लेसमेंट मिल जाता है और पीएचडी के बाद एक मतलब एक बहुत लंबी जर्नी है आप पाँच साल पीएचडी में दोगे उसके बाद भी गारंटी नहीं है जॉब तुरंत मिलेगा या नहीं मिलेगा तो अमलन कैन यू से समथिंग अबाउट दिस टॉपिक इट इज नॉट अर्सन पर्सनल क्वेश्चन इट इज जस्ट फॉर ऑल ये चीज ना मुझे भी फील होती है मुझे भी देखती है कि पी एच डी के लिए लोग ना बहुत ज्यादा सीरियस नहीं है और जो है उनको सारे इंस्टीट्यूट नहीं मिल सकते तो उनको कॉम्प्रोमाइज करके या तो लास्ट के आई आई टी या लास्ट या फिर एन आई टी वगैरह चूज करने पड़ते हैं तो वो थोड़े से मतलब अनहेप्पी होते हैं तो ये मुझे भी लगता है कि एक प्रॉब्लम है बट क्या आपके पास ऐसा कोई बेटर सजेशन है या कोई ऐसी फील्ड हो जो लोग उनके बारे में जान सके कि हाँ ये भी एक फील्ड है मैथ्स के बाद जो आप अपने करियर के लिए चूज कर सकते हो एवरी वन नोज दैट असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एंड पी एच डी सो एनी अदर थिंग लाइक सर वॉट आई बिलीव इज दर रिसर्च इज समथिंग दैट हैज टू कम फ्रॉम इन साइड द इंटरेस्ट फॉर रिसर्च हैज टू कम फ्रॉम इन साइड इट कैनॉट बी इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ क्रिएटेड बाई समर्सन लाइक 
I, we shouldn't think that if someone is doing something, we, we should copy them. Yeah. Uh, like I feel that research is something that we must have some interest in because without an interest in research, it's impossible to survive in peace. Like <laughs> I have been to, I have been to Niger a few days, uh, without the interest in research, it's impossible to survive here. Like we are, uh, we are undergoing our coursework now without the research and without the interest, we cannot survive here. That, that is a fact. Like we cannot do research by force of someone. It has to be genuinely, we should be interested in research. And uh, that is something like uh, people have an opportunity to go into assistant professor. Like something I say after PhD, some people go to the foreign universities for this postdoctorate. That is also an important thing. Like uh, after postdoctorate, you can uh, apply for different companies like the anal research and anal R&D, R&D in companies. Research like, and development. Uh, spe yeah, especially research and research and development. Like people basically, I'm not in that field, but people who generally are into some discrete mathematics or something like computational papers, they uh, they find it easier to get job in these companies like software companies because they need them. Like people having knowledge of graph theory and abstract algebra, they they have some some edge over other students like finding a job inside this software companies. But in a pure in the in case of pure mathematics, like I I call them as analysis and all this this type of things. Uh, that I feel that uh, teaching profession is good. Like uh, once we do PSC, then we have an option to go either to the assistant professor or undergo this uh, post doctorate uh, in different universities. I feel that would be better because in research, uh, research if uh, if you have done the research properly, it would be uh, it would be very good that you impart that knowledge to the students. Like what I feel, teaching is a noble cause. Like. Uh, teaching i don't know what people value teaching but i i value teaching a uh, teaching a lot because my mother is a teacher i know that what's uh, what is teaching and what a teacher can do how a teacher can do wonders like uh, like we should we all should be grateful like uh, what i am today mathematical partial has done a lot for me like i was nothing like i used to say i used to uh, remember remember unnecessary definitions in mathematics i was not able to understand things but we need a, I got a platform like I got a good teacher. I got a good teacher and uh, and I went into an institute. That is something that teaching teaching job I feel is a bit underrated. Like people don't like teaching. Uh, like I feel that job of a teacher is a bit underrated, but it's an efficient job. Like after going PhD, it would be the best option to go into uh, to teaching lines or there are some research projects like uh, people going to different research projects and uh, that that is also an open uh, option. And in case of placements, like uh, I was from mathematics and computing background, so we had placements in computer science also. Like there were companies coming for placement, but the reason I didn't take any placement was I had an interest in mathematical research, and I don't want to go to any companies and uh, and do something which I don't like. Like something I have been following my passion, like uh, in I would say that in class twelve, after the class twelve, we we had uh, something called a J exam. Like we have also till now, that's the JE mains examination. Like uh, my rank was not that bad. Like I was getting admission in some lower lower NITs, like lower NITs. But I was not getting what I desire, what I desired. Like I wanted this mathematics course, but I was not getting. But I was so particular about uh, what I need to pursue that I choose that. Huh, I I wanted to do course. I want to pursue my my education in this. So I selected whether the college would be good or bad, but I was so uh, so accurate in my decision that I wanted, uh, if I want to do this, I'll do it and I'll find a path where I need to go because ultimate goal was to do some research in mathematics. Ultimate goal was that. So I found that, okay, if I enroll into this course, then it could be uh, a path in which I can go to my destination. That is what I felt while choosing the course. You know, I feel that I have to say that frankly, saying that I have to say 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 that I have to ऐसा नहीं कि आप भीड़ जहां पे जा रही है आप वहां पे चले जाओ ये एक मेजर रीजन है कि हां रिसर्च लोग ज्यादा पसंद नहीं करते क्योंकि एक एज फैक्टर है 
मैरिज का टाइम हो जाता है तो दे फील कि हाँ हम लोग जल्दी सेटल्ड हो जाए बट ट्रस्ट मी कि अगर आप पीएचडी अच्छी जगह से कर रहे हो आप भूखे नहीं मरोगे आप अच्छी लाइफ ही सरफाइव करोगे मैंने बहुत बार बोला है आपने पीएचडी चलो मैं बोलता हूँ कि 24 के साल 24 की एज में आपने पीएचडी ज्वाइन करी आप जब भी पीएचडी करो करो अच्छी जगह से ये मेरा एक मतलब पॉइंट है आप जब भी अच्छी जगह से करोगे आपको जो स्टेप इन मिलेगा वो बहुत अच्छा खासा मिलेगा मिनिमम थर्टी फाइव है आज कल चाहे आप गेट में शायद थोड़ा कम हो सकता है तो स्टाइप आपको थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड के अराउंड स्टाइप मिलेगा आप थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड में पांच साल तक अकेले नहीं दो या तीन लोगों के साथ में सरवाइव कर सकते हो ठीक है yes. उसके बाद उन पांच सालों का जो एक्सप्लोरेशन होगा ना वो लाइफ टाइम इम्पेक्टफुल होगा आप लाइफ में बहुत कॉन्फिडेंट yes, होंगे मैं मैं एम के दो साल आई से करके बहुत ज्यादा कॉन्फिडेंट हो गया कि हाँ लाइफ में बहुत कुछ करा जा सकता है तो अगर आप पांच साल स्पेंड करोगे तो सोचो और कितना एक्सप्लोर कर लोगे तो कभी भी ऐसी yes. नौबत नहीं आएगी कि आपको लगेगा कि नहीं ये मेरा डिसीजन गलत था या मैंने ये गलत चीज ले ली अगर आपके अंदर है रिसर्च आपको जाना है मैथमेटिक्स आपको पसंद है दिल से पसंद है जो मतलब रियल मैथमेटिक्स है वैसी नहीं कि नहीं हम मैथ्स में जाएंगे ऐसा करेंगे वैसा करेंगे मैथ्स इज टू डिफिकल्ट आई से तो अगर आपको अंदर से है तो आप बहुत अच्छे से सर्वाइव भी करोगे इंजॉय भी करोगे after i cleared my net examination in 2022 i was like uh, it was also an option to go in the line of assistant professor like yeah. uh, i thought that it would be better to get assistant professor like uh, when i qualified net i had that thoughts in my mind but uh, the moment i talked with you like uh, you said uh, you should go for psc like uh, i was i was like in case of dilemma like i had interest in research but uh, i felt that i could also go in assistant professor and then think of research but uh, you said that uh, no you should go in research and i felt that yeah it was it would be fine if i i would go in research therefore i gave uh, gate examination and uh, unfortunately i got uh, i think 163 rank is not bad i think in gate no, it's, it's good it's better than me <laughs> so that it's it's good okay, you okay sir uh-huh. okay sir you can see No, no, I'm dead. Uh. So actually, the that was the reason of giving gate examination, like uh, because I didn't have I didn't have JRF, so I gave gate examination, and uh, fortunately I got this good rank, and uh, I was fortunate to get admission at NICE. But the thing I want to uh, see is uh, say is that failures are most important thing in life. That was my next problem. I was pretty yeah. sure that I'm ask going to ask you, what are your yeah. all failures and yeah. why failures are so important yeah sir because uh, i need to highlight this we need to go back aap sab log bhi bahut dhyan se sunna kahin na kahin aap log bhi na matlab failures se kabhi na kabhi nikle hoge so please is cheez ko dhyan se sunna actually sir for now we are, we are in 2023 let me go 6 years back to 2017 so i was i just uh, completed my class 12 from odm public school and we used to, like uh, we were to give some exams like j main and all sort of things like i was giving exams and i was uh, i was uh, i cleared the j main exams but uh, in case of j advanced exam i was always like i failed to cross the finishing line like we had an individual cut off for subjects like for physics we need to qualify we need to this uh, we need to get this marks for chemistry we need to get this marks so i was uh, i was giving my best but i was failing to cross that line so i had a lot of bad memories like uh, after the je examination i took a your drop for the examination like if it would be situation would be better then i gave the exam again like uh, i gave the iser aptitude test like isers conduct their aptitude test for uh, the admission into bsms program after class 12 uh, they do that uh, i gave the iser aptitude test i gave the nest examination that is that is collectively conducted by the nicer and uh, we have center of excellence in basic sciences that is mumbai uh, we have in shoot in mumbai uh, so they basically both uh, both conduct the examination and uh, you can imagine the toughness of the people like more than 80 to 1 lakh people uh, appear in the examination and there are only 200 seats uh, at that institute so you can imagine the level of toughness of that exam uh, that that was something uh, something i faced there because i have seen more failures than the success like success uh, i am getting the success uh, from like uh, i say like 2021 the thing began good for me like when i qualified iit jam and i i i feel that i just picked at the right time 
uh, for this success. But the thing is that the failure, something the failure has taught me that uh, failure has taught me never to give up because there were some times like uh, people who uh, who are my parents could be knowing this because I want to thank my parents that supported me at my bad times. Like, uh, sir, I might get some uh, get some goosebumps and I might get emotional, but no, the thing no, is that's that fine. Uh, it's actually, fine. sir, so actually, I I was giving my exams to all my, to my best. But I was uh, I was not able to cross that finishing line, and I used to wait for the results. Then I used to wait for that allotment list for first round, second round, third round. I I wasn't able to clear that. So that was something like uh, that was that was hurting hurting me a lot. Like I took a year drop, and uh, things are not getting uh, getting fine. So my parents also they were also like uh, they were not uh, like they were supporting me, but they were uh, uh, they were not feeling good to see me in this situation. Because I'm, I was working hard, I was giving everything, I was giving my best, but I wasn't able to cross the finishing line. In 2018, I gave the JE Advanced Examination. That was also conducted by IIT Kanpur. Uh, I just failed some short, uh, some mark short. I couldn't qualify the JE Advanced Examination. So that was like a life lesson for me, like uh, what to do. Because uh, at that time, uh, there was a different mindset. Like I, uh, I don't used to take that much risk. Like I didn't used to trust my instinct more. Like if I'm not sure in a question, uh, like I didn't used to answer even if I have some background knowledge about it. But after joining the institution, after seeing the competition, I felt that it there are some situation in which you have to take the risk. You have to take the necessary risk in order to jump that finishing line, because uh, because it's the paper uh, when you get a paper that is something that. Every every person like uh, like maximum number of persons they study the paper completely like they study the topic and they give the examination like it's it's very important to take the uh, take the risk in uh, the, those particular situations. I'm not telling to take uh, always take the risk, but there are some situations in which you can trust the instinct, uh, and that will help help us doing. And uh, I still remember like uh, when I qualified IIT IIT examination in 2011, like. My parents were in tears. Like something, I qualified an exam uh, exam of IIT. Like I was I was dying to qualify uh, during uh, during my class 12 exam after the class 12 examination. I was not able to qualify that, and the rank was not good. But uh, still, I was happy that I qualified. Then after that, I gave gate examination. I gave the IIT exam examination, and when I qualified net, they were in tears. Like uh, my rank was like uh, 50. I got rank 50. They were in tears. Like. Like they were saying that, yeah, this this is all the result of a hard work you have done. And uh, after gate examination, I got that rank. Uh, the same thing happened. Like, uh, like I'm a bit emotional. Like uh, in this thing, if you work hard for something and you get something, you will you will get a lot of emotion. That that is something associated with me. And uh, I remember the day when uh, the nicer the list came out. Uh, like I was I was so terrified to see the list of names. Like. I was I was not able to see their names like uh, first first allot like they they have given but the let list. me tell you one thing that I was very sure that you are going to get better in smooth I was very sure. So actually, that, that, that is something sir that motivated me because you because were very I've seen sure you me. I've seen you in the classes. Yeah, you were very sure of me. That that is something like uh, you were very sure of me. And uh, something like I was, I was a bit afraid of seeing the results. Like seeing the results when I saw my name, I couldn't even believe my eyes. Then I thought there may be some mistake in that. Uh, there, there must be like I saw my name. It was, it was Amlan Kumar Sahu. Then I saw, I thought that there would be some other person. It could happen. So, so I, uh, I, I, I saw the number and I matched that number. Firstly, I got the same number. Then I say no, it, it might be there's some mistake. Again, I check that number. So you won't believe when I was selected, I burst into tears because something, it was a dream that came true. Like yeah. I had a dream of going into Nizer. So it's, it's, it was a dream that came true. And I sent you the list. I think you are the yeah. first person whom I, whom I shared this news before my yeah, parents. I, even. I feel so. Yeah. <laughs> you were the first person I shared, shared the news and I shared them to my parents, uh, shared those news to my parents. All were happy. And uh, you were also so happy because. Sir, I think uh, uh, you enjoy my success more than me. Like uh, I feel like because you always motivated me and to do these and that things. So I I was happy that I could make you proud. 
like i was happy that something like uh, a student of manish but sir, i have told you that you have already made that say it would be but uh, actually i'm trying uh, and i i'll try to make you proud even here and i also request you to visit our institute some day so yeah, actually that, uh, maine bhi plan kiya tha but abhi kis problem ki wajah se nahi but for sure i will be com- uh, i will be coming for sure yes sir because it's a good institute it's a good institute you must be knowing that so you should visit this place surely i will be uh so yeah i am also a little bit emotional <laughs> अरे आपने एक चीज नोटिस करी मुझे बहुत अच्छी लगी आपने मुझे नहीं पता आपने नोटिस करी या नहीं करी मैन ही वॉज सेम कि आई फेल्ड इन दिस आई फेल्ड इन दिस आई फेल्ड इन दिस बट कैन यू सी वन थिंग दैट ही डिड नॉट स्टॉप दैट्स द पावर ऑफ फेलियर अगर आप देखो फेल होकर रुक जाते हो तो ये आपका प्रॉब्लम है आप शायद उस चीज के लिए नहीं बने हो So I so even 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 see the coincidence. 2018 J Advance was conducted by IIT Kanpur. 2023 Gate was conducted by IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur. One was a failure story, and another <laughs> one was yeah, that was a success story. And that's that's purely coincidence. <laughs> and and sir, you won't believe another thing. My J Advance exam center was same as that uh, Gate exam Gate center. Exam. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> you you won't believe this coincidence this coincidence happened to me and sir because after gate examination i was not getting like uh, the score was something like 36.67 i felt that's a below average score but the level of paper was something else this time yeah and in in that score i obtained this rank that no one would believe uh, this would happen because in a score less than 40 if you are uh, getting a rank under 200 then the paper must be something different yeah paper was uh, paper was really difficult सबसे ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम मैंने शायद पहले दिन ही बोला था कि सबसे ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम हुई होगी जो यूट्यूब पर सोल्यूशंस बनाते हैं ना एग्जाम हॉल में आपका दिमाग बहुत तेज काम करता है जो प्रॉब्लम आप घर पे दस मिनट में सोल्व करते हो बीस मिनट में सोल्व कर पाते हो या कर भी नहीं पाते हो वो प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम में आप एक मिनट में कर देते हो अब आप उसको इंस्टिंग बोलो आपकी मतलब ये कहते हैं एक पीक पावर होती है वो पीक पावर काम करती है एग्जाम में दैट वर्क्स इन एग्जामिनेशन या दैट्स अ स्पेशल फोर्स दैट एक्ट्स इन एग्जामिनेशन हां सो सुनगिल बहुत अच्छा लगा और मैं आपके लिए बहुत खुश भी हूं हमेशा ही होता हूं मैं आपके लिए खुश और yes, मुझे ना कभी ऐसा नहीं लगा कि मतलब आप कुछ अच्छा नहीं करोगे या नहीं कर पाओगे मैं ऑलरेडी बहुत श्योर हूं एंड यू आर गोइंग टू डू समथिंग आई वांट टू से समथिंग दैट आई वांट टू से समथिंग दैट not many people are fortunate like me to get a teacher like you that is that is sir i may get emotional once again i am saying but you you are something different in my life like you have transformed an average student and average failure into someone to go into a research institute but you you are not average for me na <laughs> you are considering you yourself as a average but actually sir it's it's also uh, i'll say why so do, do you I do you see one thing in my every interview you are there when i conduct visa yes, party sir. you are always there when i conduct some yes, other uh, video you are always there yes sir sir so reason i special. consider uh, reason why i consider myself average is that if i consider myself a special i will stop working hard that is something i believe if i consider myself as average i will work hard that is something i believe so i always tell people like i am an average student I okay, believe so in you hard consider hard yourself as average. I will consider as a special one because for my consideration there will be no effect, I guess. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, so we now know about your uh, struggle. Also, uh, I want to know one or two more th- things. Then we will okay. Let's reply first to YouTubers. हम लोग जो जो भी आपकी कमेंट्स हैं उनको रिप्लाई करते हैं फिर मैं कुछ और चीजें पूछूंगा बहुत सारे कमेंट्स हो गए हैं रियली सर यू आर डूइंग गुड आई हैव क्लियर गेट दो हजार तेईस एंड वी आर विद अ गुड रैंक फ्रॉम योर पाठशाला ओनली बस पी नहीं मिल पाया लास्ट टाइम नाउ आई सेलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट सीनियर टीचर बट नेक्स्ट पी 
ओके बहुत बड़ा कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन कैलाश दास आपको मैं आपको बहुत अच्छे से जानता हूँ सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर योर अचीवमेंट्स और ऑल्सो फॉर योर जॉब सर अगर जॉब मिल जाए तो तो फुल टाइम पीएचडी को पार्ट टाइम पीएचडी में कन्वर्ट कैसे कर सकते हैं और हर आईसर आईटी में ऐसा होता है आई फील कि आईसर में तो फॉर श्योर नहीं होता होगा दे विल नॉट अलाउ यू टू कन्वर्ट योर पीएचडी एज अ पार्ट टाइम पीएचडी बट आईआईटी में पीएचडी uh, जो है वो पार्ट टाइम कन्वर्ट हो जाती है यू हैव टू टॉक टू योर गाइड ही और शी विल हेल्प यू आई एम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू डू पी एच डी बट नाउ लिटिल कन्फ्यूज Concerns little bit confused between my job and if I leave job, then after PhD, what will I have? Kailash Das, only I will say this: go to your decision. Ya, you, whatever you decide, you will make it good for you. Because see, I am sitting here and I cannot understand your situation. How is your social life? How is your family condition? I do not know. And what are your goals that I don't know? So, you will not make it good for you. Because see, I am sitting here and I cannot understand your situation. How is your social life? How is your family condition? I do not know. And what are your goals that I don't know? So, you will not make it good for you. already respect that aap jo bhi decide karoge wo i think best hoga because you know your condition best sir is bar bhu mein msc mathematics se 20 25 logo ka placement hua hai akash talent motion bansal classes kuch b tech college mein ye sab placement ke liye aaye the okay that's great mera khud bansal classes mein hua hai okay rajan congratulations so you have to teach very well देखो मैं आपको हमेशा एक चीज कहता हूँ कि जब आप पढ़ाओ ना तो मतलब हमेशा अच्छा पढ़ाओ आप खराब आपको खराब पढ़ाना ही नहीं है मतलब अगर आप टीचर हो तो यू कैन नॉट टीच बैक अगर आप खराब पढ़ा रहे हो तो फिर आपके टीचर होने का फायदा क्या है क्योंकि तो पढ़ा तो फिर कोई भी सकता है बट यू आर स्पेशल बनो तो आपको हमेशा अच्छा पढ़ाना पड़ेगा आपको पता है कि जब मैं अपने लेक्चर पढ़ाता हूँ ना तो मेरे साथ भी कभी ऐसा होता है कि मैं लेक्चर प्रिपेयर नहीं कर पाया मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम नाइनटी आई एम प्रिपेयर कि मुझे इतना कंटेंट पढ़ाना है ठीक है लेकिन कभी कभार ऐसा होता है कि हाँ मैं किसी चीज में फंसा हुआ हूँ कोचिंग आया ढाई बजे की क्लास है ढाई बजे बहुत है ढाई बजे जाके पढ़ाना स्टार्ट कर दिया उस सिचुएशन में मेरे पास कंटेंट बहुत ज्यादा रेडी नहीं है थोड़ा बहुत एक्सपीरियंस हुआ है तो उस टाइम में मैं बताया क्या करता हूँ वट आई डू उस टाइम में मैं अपना वो बेस्ट देता हूँ जो मेरे अंदर से कभी निकलेगा नहीं और रिलीवेंट हो टॉपिक के लिए तो आई डू दैट बट लेकिन मैं कभी अपनी टीचिंग खराब नहीं करना चाहता मतलब मैं मुझे बहुत मजा आता है पढ़ाने में और एक अलग खुशी है मतलब जब और सबसे ज्यादा खुशी पता है कब होती है जब मैं आपके संग डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम डिस्कस करता हूँ आपको पता है कि हमारा ही एक ऐसा इंस्टीट्यूट है शायद जो मतलब कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं करता मतलब हमारे पास बहुत सारे बच्चे आते हैं बिगिनर्स हो मीडिएटर हो या थोड़े से एडवांस लेवल के हो बट हमारा लेवल सेम रहता है क्योंकि मैं अपना लेवल कभी गिराना ही नहीं चाहता वो मुझे मतलब एक्सेप्ट ही नहीं होता कि हाँ कि मैं लेवल गिरा के आपको पढ़ाऊ मैं बच्चों की तरह आपको नहीं पढ़ाना चाहता मेरे पास बच्चे दो कम आएंगे चार कम आएंगे वो चल जाएगा कोई बात नहीं लेकिन जो यहाँ से निकल के जाएगा ना वो खुश होके जाना चाहिए दैट्स माय प्रायोरिटी रोनित सिंह पूछ रहे हैं राजन आपसे कि जिनका बी में प्लेसमेंट हुआ है कैन यू शेयर द पैकेज द हॉट टर्म वट इज दट इज द पैकेज हमने ये क्वेश्चन आपके लिए है सर पीएचडी रिटर्न एग्जाम सब्जेक्टिव होता है क्या तो किस किस इंस्टीट्यूट में सब्जेक्टिव होता है किस किस इंस्टीट्यूट में ऑब्जेक्टिव होता है सर एक्चुअली इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द इंस्टीट्यूट इन व्हिच वी आर गिविंग द एग्जामिनेशन सो लाइक आईआईटी मद्रास हैड सब्जेक्टिव एग्जामिनेशन कैन यू पॉइंट आउट द कैन यू पॉइंट आउट द इंस्टीट्यूट वेयर दे कंडक्ट सब्जेक्टिव वन बिकॉज़ द रेस्ट वन विल बी रेस्ट विल बी objective one so like uh, as much as as i know iit madras uh, i think iit kanpur iit bombay because i have i have not given that interview i don't know uh, but okay. uh, there were some people people that said that uh, iit madras the uh, subjective paper was really tough really tough okay. and we have uh, our iit bhubneshwar also in our state that conducts uh, a test in which uh, you have uh, both objective and subjective questions in nizer all the questions were msq like Yeah. all the questions were uh, ms multiple select questions like the standard how in uh, net examination or gate examination acha ek cheez jo jaise jo mcq problems aapne solve kare fir aapko pata laga ki aapka interview tha to yes. is it good to solve all the problems nicely which asked in the uh, mcq so i didn't get the question 
आई एम सेइंग कि जो आपने इंटरव्यू के लिए एग्जाम दिया था रिटर्न एग्जाम जिसमें एमसीक्यू प्रॉब्लम्स थे तो क्या इंटरव्यू जब पता लग गया कि इंटरव्यू में सेलेक्ट हो चुके हैं तो क्या इंटरव्यू के लिए उन एमसीक्यू प्रॉब्लम्स को सॉल्व करना चाहिए exactly sir it, it would be it would be a possibility because uh, one of the professors asked me questions on one question i was saying about the picard theorem like it was a question there he just asked me how is, how did you solve this question show me how did you solve this question he asked okay, me the question okay. so jab aap kabhi bhi written exam do to us exactly. ko interview mein jaane se pehle solve kar lena mere sath bhi ek aisa incident hua hai maine na ek koi paper diya tha tifer ka hi tha shayad ya i think wohi tha to usme ek objective problem tha jo आया था और उसके सब्जेक्ट में उसी का प्रूफ पूछा था कि प्रूव दिस प्रॉब्लम तो ये आप लोग भी मतलब सॉल्व कर लेना इट विल बेनिफिट यू इट विल गिव यू बेनिफिट्स ओके प्लेसमेंट का इन्होंने पैकेज बता दिया एस ट्रेनिंग टाइम सिक्स टू सेवन लैक्स पर ईयर आफ्टर ट्रेनिंग पीरियड टेन टू फिफ्टीन लैक्स आई थिंक इट्स फाइन फॉर बिगनिंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉर यू सर अगर फंक्शनल एनालिसिस में इंटरव्यू देना है तो कौन कौन से टॉपिक्स प्रिपेयर करें फॉर फंक्शनल एनालिसिस जनरली सर दे आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बेसिक इनिशियली दे विल आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बेसिक लाइक फॉर एन इंटरव्यू इन फंक्शनल एनालिसिस वी मस्ट बी थोरो विद द टोकोलॉजी बिकॉज दे विल आस्क समथिंग अवर टोकोलॉजी वंस वी यूज द टर्म नॉन टोकोलॉजी इन रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक नाइजर दे विल आस्क यू वट्स द टोकोलॉजी they will ask you the same question so for the basic we need to be very good at matrix spaces first because uh, norm topology before uh, knowing the norm topology we should be we should have an idea about the matrix spaces and topology in general then for normal we should uh, we should have a very good uh, knowledge of linear algebra because functional analysis is basically an extension of linear algebra that what i believe that's the analysis of functional when we we find the dual spaces of something we analyze the real for the the functionals in different fields like maybe it uh, may it be real functionals or complex functions we, we analyze them so i would suggest for a better in, for a better interview experience in function analysis one should be aware of this matrix spaces topology linear algebra as prerequisites before and any other analysis. specific topics from functional uh, so actually they will ask questions on banach spaces they will ask more questions on banach spaces and uh, especially they go into operator operator theory they ask about yeah. what's the adjoint of an operator what's the compact operator something like annihilators they ask something like i hadn't prepared those things but they ask uh, the moment someone says functional analysis and and one thing i want to say that if you take some advanced topic they will initially try to ma make you afraid they will initially try like when i when i told them sir i prepared topology one of them said that okay you have chosen an advanced topic now you will be in trouble he <laughs> told me this he exactly he exactly told me this words now you will be in trouble so i said okay sir i have prepared this i'll i'll i i humbly i humbly said them sir i have prepared this i will try my best to give the best answer possible okay. actually sir in in the interview it's very important to stay grounded and to and to show the confidence even if you are not confident inside because it's it's a general thing that would happen even no matter what amount of knowledge you have you are going to face some some pressure at the interview that is the that is the most important thing of the interview like they will ask you things that you know but the pressure would be so different so uh, so different that uh, you would find it difficult even to say those things you know that is what i have felt in the interview like when they ask me to prove prove this the function is constant i could not use the identity theorem i went with the basic definition of the cauchy riemann equation i could have used the identity theorem and can prove in two lines like why the function should be like the constant the why the function should be constant so i i feel that in interview it is it is generally uh, the thing is that you have to keep a cool mind like cool mind is necessary for the interview they will ask the basic questions they will ask you the basic questions the thing is that you should give your maximum effort in this. that is that is what i feel like uh, cracking an interview uh, interview is fine because um, after qualifying this examination uh, the journey isn't over because qualifying the written exam of that institute is a tough task and more tougher is qualifying the interview because qualifying the interview is very tough in case of uh, any institute because uh, there are a lot of students like uh, in in uh, when I, i i say that in any exams like gate and net examination 
many people like 15000 people they appear for examination like in net they like 40000 people appear for examination but in case of that uh, that examination that the uh, interview all the people that uh, that appear for the interview have already qualified that examination so the so the difficulty and the toughness level increases that is something uh, and uh, i have i have also spoken to many of the, of my seniors like thing is that they said that uh they will ask you the things you know they won't ask something from the air they will ask you things that you know the only thing you should keep in mind that you be confident and even if you are not confident don't show them that you are not confident if you show that they, you are not confident they they are going to exploit that that is that is something that hap- that happened to someone like i was speaking uh, speaking with him after the interview he said uh, like he was not that confident and uh, then they decided to uh, then they asked him different questions and his interview went horrible like uh, he came out like in 10 15 minutes he came out in 10 15 minutes like uh, uh, that that happened like my interview was like 1 hour something so i had a hope that uh, they have taken uh, much time for my interview so there must be there will, there would be a, a chance for my selection that i was in that hope and ultimately it happened so i hope you got the answer uh which institute is good for psd in real analysis uh, i don't think there is a research in real analysis uh, yeah so generally they go into functional analysis yeah they so can you tell me sir okay can you share some institutes which which are good in analysis like functional or uh the four year one both will work so uh, iit kanpur is very good in analysis i would say iit kanpur then iit madras and it would be um, like uh, aizer mohali is very good in algebra aizer aizer mohali sorry aizer mohali is uh, very good in algebra and uh, i also want to say that like institutes like imsc chennai cmi these are yeah, i would say imsc chennai is a very great institute for analysis they are board level institutes they are yeah. like they are above above the iits any day they are above the iits any day uh, those uh, those institutes like cmi uh, whether it be isi or it be imsc chennai these all are board level institute and equally good and i would also say nizer is also good uh, if uh, you want to do something in functional analysis it's good because we have some good faculties here and yeah. other than functional uh, functional analysis there are topics like uh, algebraic geometry there is harmonic analysis there is number theory and all uh, there are also different topics like uh, if anyone wants nizer they can go to the web page of nizer and can search for the faculties again main nizer mein jata na to number theory ya algebraic geometry mein se kisi ek mein check karta hai main kaam so you are interested in number theory then yeah more in uh, algebraic yeah, number theory okay sir uh, yeah there is a paper of uh, number theory like Uh, there are professors in number theory yeah. so uh, actually we will finish our interview by 7:45 so if you have any other query you are free to ask in 7 minutes uh, till then uh, let's reply all the remaining queries uh, ronit puchre sir how to know that if i am smart enough for research uh, no answer i am having exactly there is no answer for it so you have to think accordingly श्लोक ने एक अच्छी बात पूछी अमन आप आंसर करोगे इसका प्लीज गिव सम एडवाइस टू अ जेम स्टूडेंट हु इज बिगिनर इन दिस फील्ड ऑफ हायर मैथमेटिक्स तो व्हाट्स योर सजेशन एक्चुअली माय एडवाइस इज टू गो बाय द बेसिक्स लाइक स्टडी फ्रॉम द रूट लेवल लाइक फॉर आईआईटी जेम जनरली दे आस्क क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम रियल एनालिसिस एंड लीनियर एलजेब्रा दीस आर द हॉट टॉपिक्स लाइक दे आस्क फ्रॉम क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द ग्रुप थ्योरी इवन दीस आर द हॉट टॉपिक्स लाइक actually uh, it's it's my advice that uh, go thoroughly through the through the books prepare like the short notes as i said revise them so, uh, thoroughly because things uh, especially pure mathematics things get away from the brain very quickly that is that is what i feel because uh, uh, initially initial my initial days were like i was studying something like linear algebra uh, after some days when i study real analysis linear algebra would be like something gone off from my head because uh, at that time my preparation was not good like uh, during my first year of ms integrated msc i would say so 
it it would be my advice is to select a good book because there are a lot of resources available in the internet the best thing is to select a good book and uh, even uh, and if you're fortunate like me to have a teacher like manish sir it it is more than enough because for linear algebra honestly said i have i haven't read uh, read any books i just sincerely followed manish sir's lectures and just gave exam from there for linear algebra i haven't followed any book and for real analysis um, the basic book was like uh, bartel and shebert i followed that book for iit jam examination and uh, also the sk mapa book is also good and uh, if you see uh, kumar sen sir is a legend he is he is genuinely legend and his books are also good uh, like uh, you can see the see them uh, for linear algebra i would suggest uh, hoffman and kunje uh, kunje book because i i i didn't re- uh, read it but uh, it's a, it's a good book no but for and jam purpose i won't uh, refer it for jam purpose i'll uh, refer uh, friedberg book it's good for jam purpose because uh, uh, hoffman and kunz you will understand only the first topic and from the second topic you will see ki kya ho raha hai to kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha the first topic mein aapko milenge matrices jo aap pehle se jante ho but second yeah. chapter se cheeze thodi si hawa mein udne lagengi wo aapko samajh mein nahi aayegi yeah. as a beginner so i have you see, have you seen the result like uh, something like uh, any uh, elementary transformation is something multiplying with a invertible matrix this this fact is very good i, yeah. I have seen this like i have uh, seen in i have studied in hoffman and tons exactly this this is something like anyone who is preparing for linear algebra they might ask this question why why this is happening they yeah. might ask this question first chapter you should you you all should study from that book yeah that that is something that is very good like I that will also tell you some techniques of matrix multiplication it will teach you in how many ways you can multiply two matrices and sir let me add something like to all the gate aspirants of 2024 and uh, i i am saying it to myself also because i am planning to appear for gate 2024 like uh, to everyone uh, like uh, the indian institute of science isc bangalore is conducting gate examination so don't expect the paper to be easier than the than than this this year the paper level will go on increasing so i would suggest uh, people to be thorough at this analysis and especially in pure mathematics because this research institutes mainly focus on pure mathematics like may it be measure theory may it be topology something yeah for measure theory i would say something like currently i'm struggling in measure theory uh, i'm currently i'm struggling a lot in measure theory but measure theory i feel is a very good topic like it's uh, it's a basic topic one must learn if you want to do something in analysis like uh, like something i want to do something in function analysis uh, like uh, uh, i i should be good at measure theory and uh, topology even like uh, measure theory i should be good at i think first time research. first time you are studying no uh, yes sir uh, sir i i studied function i studied measure theory like for the competitive exams like uh, i skipped all no, the no, books no. like but, i just remember the in academics i am asking yeah sir in uh, in measure theory we had in our integrated msc but uh, during the covid batches uh, the classes were online and uh, most of the people like me have skipped the classes because i was preparing for iit jam examination and uh, i wasn't uh, attending the class if if my teachers are seeing the video of my university please forgive me i was i was not attending your classes i was busy in something other okay so we have only 2 minutes so i do 2 minutes mein sabko reply karta hu cheezon ka theek hai and uske baad agar 1 2 minute aur lag jaye to koi baat nahi aap itna to jhel sakte ho Uh, is number theory part of algebra yeah it is a part of algebra so i find institute not giving so much importance in entrance exams even academics but every top institute does research in number theory actually number theory is not a basic topic it is actually an advanced topic according to yeah. me if you study analytic number theory or yeah. algebraic number theory you will cry and without mentor right. or a teacher you you won't be able to study because i have Went through this. I have gone through this. I have seen yeah, that topics can be too difficult. Sir, I have a friend here in uh, Nizer. His Shubhadeep. Uh, he wants to do something in number theory. And uh, when he told that he wants to do something in number theory, I said that, yeah, uh, you are going means you have just uh, kept your foot uh, over the sword uh, because uh, number th- <laughs> number theory is very difficult. Like very difficult. It's it's something. because i have been through a problem like uh, it's a sequence so i i think i have asked this question like right? 
the difference of sequence of primes like pn plus 1 minus pn where this sequence will converge this yeah. was something uh, this was an interview question of one of my friends uh, he asked me what about this uh, nature of convergence of this still i don't have the accurate answer for it because uh, you said that uh, this can only be solved if you have the knowledge of density of primes in the natural numbers yeah you are not audible i think now so am i audible now yeah 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 it's fine so uh sir please suggest some good books for analysis depend karta hai ki aapko analysis kis level ka padhna hai real padhna hai to i'll say ask him apa is good thoda advanced jana hai to i'll say ki nl carothers is best yes sir sir tracking csi and grf is not easy task if one is not too conceptually strong so one who correct grf they are very much strong in the in that field so in interview why many face difficulties uh, actually why they face difficulty mai aapko ek cheez bataun jab net ki aap preparation karte ho na to bahut se institutes aise mai naam nahi lena chahunga jo aapko topic ko matlab sirf unke point likhate hain और फिर उसके क्वेश्चंस कराते हैं तो आपकी क्वेश्चंस की प्रैक्टिस तो बन जाती है बट कॉन्सेप्ट की प्रैक्टिस रह जाती है तो वो लोग ज्यादा सरवाइव करते हैं जो ऐसे करके पढ़ के आते हैं नहीं तो हाँ मैं कहूंगा कि डिफिकल्ट है एग्जाम सी एस आई नेट का मुझे भी डिफिकल्ट लगता है अगर मैं आज भी दूंगा तो मुझे आज भी डिफिकल्ट लगेगा क्योंकि उसमें टॉपिक्स की डिमांड बहुत ज्यादा यू हैव टू स्टडी लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स सर आई फील दैट टिल नाउ जे आर एफ इज दार्डेस्ट थिंग टू अचीव Yeah, actually the competition is more yeah, yeah. as compared to other exams. Okay, so we will finish uh, this session. Uh, thank you, everyone, for making this interactable, and thank you so much, Amlam Kumar Sahu, for uh, joining thank this you. session. You will always be an special. You will always be special for me. Also, you can see I have written down on the screen that interview with Prishan is well. So I really yes, sir. Yes, consider sir. that. Sir, it's very kind of you, sir. Very kind of you. And uh, once again, uh, sir, I am fortunate to have got a teacher like you. And uh, it's uh, it's very good to have like uh, like have a mentor like inspiring me in everything. And uh, sir, once again, thank you for everything, sir. The if i had if i hadn't uh, contacted you or if i hadn't met you then i don't think i would be in this stage today no i only so, told you agar aap mujhse nahi mile hote to kisi aur se mile hote but hote achhi jagah pe that i already know okay kal waise ek choti si cheez aur bata dun kal maine ek session aur rakha hai online sham ko us session ka jo uh, title hai na that is scope after csi or net exam तो आई ट्राई टू एलेबोरेट की सी एस आई नेट के बाद क्या क्या और अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं जो कुछ हिडन अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं वो आपको मैं ट्राई करूंगा बताने के लिए सो प्लीज कल शाम को सात बजे जुड़ना एंड वो लेक्चर को एंजॉय करना वो बहुत अनदर वन रिक्वेस्ट फॉर फ्रॉम माय साइड या सर विल इट बी पॉसिबल टू कंडक्ट ए सेशन विद सार्थक सर इवन या डेफिनेटली वी विल बी कंडक्टिंग या या दैट वुड बी दैट वुड बी आई थॉट इफ आई इफ आई कम टू नाई इफ आई कम टू नाई सर देन आई विल टेक अ सेशन हां with both of you yes it it would be very special to both of us uh, yeah definitely i will be taking yes sir, it would be and sir once again uh, when you come to naisa it would be a very good thing to us like uh, i For always like uh, i always dreamt of meeting you like uh, meeting some someone whom i idolize so and hope that we can meet soon uh, like uh, in physical we can meet soon and uh, there are a lot of treat pending pending for this <laughs> yeah we will be <laughs> yeah okay so good bye we'll meet soon good bye good bye okay, everyone sir. thank okay, you sir. so much again thank you sir everyone thank you sir okay thank you sir. good night sir good night thank you sir